good morning guys it is another rainy and gross day outside but hope everyone is having a lovely morning i am about to go run some errands so i'm just letting my dogs out for a little bit so i can leave them out and not put them in their crate because i just always feel so bad doing it and i'm not going to be gone long so oh my god my one dog just went poop and literally it's hanging out of her butt. Oh my god, please tell me that came off because I do not want to grab it. Nope, it's still hanging. Maddie, I do not want to pull that out of your butt. She is the weirdest. <laughs> She's going to the bathroom and she can't like sit still. Okay, it dropped. Thank the Lord did not want to have to do that but i'm about to go run errands sorry about that i'm about to go run errands and just letting them out but i really want to head over to where it's at which is a consignment store on main street because i need to look for a gift for my boyfriend's sister she's turning 21 and we're going to florida to celebrate so i want to look for something like really cool at either a consignment store or a vintage store for her so i want to go and check that out because it's already april april 1st no it's april 2nd today and oh my gosh my dog i swear sometimes she is disgusting but i love her okay but gonna go run there and then i also have to pick up medicine at a pharmacy and uh go to the grocery store to get like a couple things. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. I just wanted to start off the vlog and say good morning and welcome back to another rainy day. Okay, before I head out, I just wanna show you what I am wearing. I just have on the cashmere sweater from Quince. This is the best cashmere sweater. It is such an affordable price point, it's $50. And it is so comfy and the quality is so good. And then I have on my Margot Lissette tee underneath. And then I just have on these Levi's jeans. I thought I lost these and I was so sad because they're my favorite like black jeans. But they were in my boyfriend's car. So I'm so happy that I have them in my closet again. And then I'm just wearing my Jack Irwin everyday boots. And then probably going to just wrap myself in my favorite Lauren Magnuhian cardigan because it is just so cold and gross outside but I still wanted to get a little bit ready today just to feel a little bit put together I just did some editing this morning on my computer I had to finish up editing a vlog for you guys and I think I'm gonna either post that today or tomorrow morning so get excited for that. Also let me know if there's any videos or things you want to see in my vlogs. I did a QA and a in my last one, so I hope you guys enjoyed learning more about me. But I'm gonna wear this and bring my little Lauren, I mean modern weaving bag. This is such a good bag. It is an investment, but it's such an amazing everyday bag. The leather is so good. I kind of want another one. And then I'm just going to bring my hair clip just in case I need it. But I think that's my, my outfit for today. Super simple, easy. I'm going to dinner later with my grandma and my dad. So I feel like this will be good just to wear all throughout the day. We're going to dinner early. We're going to dinner at like 5.30. So I might come back after that and just do a workout, like walk on the treadmill or something like that because that time of the month and I got it yesterday and I'm just my cramps are so bad today so I'm just not really feeling a full hit workout or something like that maybe I'll do a Pilates later but we'll see but gonna head out to the consignment store and then run the two other errands okay so of course I had to try on this leather jacket when I saw it I feel like I just can never pass up on trying on a coat when I see it in a vintage or consignment store, especially this good of quality of one. I love the length and the color of it. 
It reminded me a lot of my black suede trench coat that I have been recently loving again in my wardrobe. Unfortunately, the jacket though, it just didn't sit right specifically in the chest area. I think the fabric was stretched a little bit from the original owner, so it just felt like there was too much fabric and looked a little bit off. Not much when it was unbuttoned, but you could really tell when it was buttoned up. So I ended up leaving it behind, which I, which I was kind of sad about because I loved it. I just couldn't justify getting it just to wear unbuttoned. This next top, I actually have tried it on before because I always love it on the hanger. But every time I put it on, something just feels off about it. Maybe because I always try it on in the winter when I am pale, so I feel like it just washes me out. So I might need to go back in the summertime with a nice tan and give it another try if it's still there. I feel like it would be so easy and cute with a pair of jeans for the summer, but let me know what you guys think. So this top I actually was trying on because I was thinking of getting it as a birthday gift for my boyfriend's sister, who is actually turning 21 in April, so this month. She lives in Florida and I feel like this top would look so cute on her with her tan skin and blonde hair. It's this beautiful baby blue color and I just feel like the fit and the silhouette is just so cute. The only thing that worries me is that she can't return it if she ends up not liking it. So I actually took some photos and put it on hold and I wanted to show my family and see what they think before I went back and purchased it. The last thing I tried on was these pair of jeans and I just love the dark denim color and the gold button detailing, but unfortunately they were just way too big on me. So I had to leave these behind as well. It has been a little bit. I got home from the consignment store and honestly, this weather has been making me so tired. So I had lunch and I just laid on the couch on my computer and did a little bit of work until I had to go pick up my grandma. And we just got a bite to eat at Glendon Grill, which is really close in Reicherstown. So I just dropped her back off at her place and I am back home and I really just wanna get cozy. I was planning on maybe doing a little workout, but honestly, I'm just not feeling it. I am so cold. It's so dreary and gray out. And I just want to take a hot shower, get my pajamas on, and lay on the couch. So that is exactly what I am about to do. I love the pieces that I tried on at the consignment shop. I am really debating on getting that one blue top that I tried on for Genevieve for her birthday. I actually put it on hold because I want to ask my mom what she thought. I asked my younger sister and her brother, my boyfriend, what they thought and they said that she would really like it. I'm just nervous because you can't return it obviously since it's a secondhand shop but I think it would look really pretty on her. I just am not 100% sure. I'm just worried that she's just not going to like it and then she won't be able to return it and that's just so sad and terrible. So I'm just on the fence on if I should just get her something that she has the ability to return or get her this really cool top that I think is different and something that she doesn't have in her closet. So yeah, I have to decide tomorrow because I put it on hold for tomorrow. So I'm going to bring this vlog I think into tomorrow because I don't think I filmed that much today. It was just so gray out and I was just so tired and yeah, I just, I kind of came home and wasn't a person, so the day got away from me. But I am about to take off makeup and get in the shower. I love to take my makeup off with this OG cleanser. I thought I would just share kind of some of the products that I have been loving recently. Now I will want to reiterate that I am on a skin journey, so I'm kind of just starting to use these products and I haven't used them for a very long time so I can't say my total like if I like them or not like my total opinion on them but so far I feel like they really helped clear out my acne and it's that time of the month and I have really only one active pimple which is pretty good since this is an apparent 
hormonal breakout that I'm dealing with and I haven't gotten new any new active breakouts until this one but I think that's just because it's the time of the month and usually I feel like I would have gotten a lot more so I feel like these products are doing a great job I just don't want to I just want to iterate that I am testing these out I'm struggling with my skin right now so I can't give my full like oh my gosh these work so well because I don't really know yet but I have been using this to cleanse my face and wash it off because I've been really liking to do a double cleanser. I think that's been really helping my skin is to do a double cleanser. I never really knew that that was like a key step. Somebody kind of described it as pretty much a band-aid. When you have a band-aid on, nothing can get to it. And that's, I think it was a band-aid or it was something, but basically, when you just wash your face, you're not really washing your skin. You're just kind of getting off that first layer. So your skin actually hasn't been fully washed yet. So when you do this, you get off of that first layer and then you can go in with your cleanser and actually wash your face and get it all clean and nice. And then that way your products can go in and seep into your skin. Because if you only use this, your products aren't really going to seep into your skin because you're not really washing it. That's kind of how I personally feel like the best way to describe double cleansing. But what I've been really using is this to take off my makeup and everything for first cleanser. I think this does such a good job. And then I've been trying out the face reality. My younger sister told me about it because her skin esthetician recommended it to her and it really worked on her skin. So she told me to give it a try so i just ordered these on the face reality website so i do this and then the second step is their moisture balance toner for dehydrated skin and i've been really loving this because i feel like i've been using my tretinoin which my dermatologist gave me and it really dries out your skin there's definitely a purging phase so i feel like this helps because it definitely keeps the moisture in and helps my my skin from being so dehydrated from the tretinoin that I put on every single night. I also think hopefully I'm towards the end of the purging stage in the tretinoin. I don't get as dry as I was getting before when I was first starting it. So that's the three products that I've been using. And then for moisturizer at night, I have been doing the Face Reality uh, crayon peptide cream for rich and restorative skin. This is super thick. So if you don't like a thick moisturizer, this is probably not going to be one for you. But it literally, I put it on and I just let it sit and seep into my skin. And then I press it on because it literally leaves a white cast until you like press it into your skin. So I really feel like it's actually sinking into my skin and really helping get like a deep, rich moisturizer. And then after that, if my skin's really feeling dry from the tretinoin, I will put the Sillaplast Balm B5 of La Roche Posay on. And then sometimes I'll put Aquaphor. I usually put Aquaphor under my eyelids and over. And then recently I've actually been putting castor oil. I have this organic castor oil that I've actually I have the pad that I put on my stomach which actually has been really helping with digestion but I've been using this under my eyes because apparently it's supposed to help bring out uh, like impurities in your skin or wherever so I'm really hoping it's helping with my dark under eyes and I just have really dark eye sh like eyelids my mom always points that out to me that she just gets nervous because my eyelids are always so dark and kind of like purpley so I think this has been actually really helping with the coloration of my eyelids and under eyes but not 100% sure yet but that's kind of been my skincare routine and then during the day instead of this moisturizer I've been using the La Roche Posay moisturizer that Army has sunscreen in it because sometimes if I don't use a moisturizer that has sunscreen I forget that step and I'm really trying to be good about my sunscreen and then also sometimes I'll do my OG under eye balm uh, the yeah their eye balm 
and I'll use this, but I'm almost out of it, so I don't use it every single night. But that's kind of been my step and what I've been doing. I've also been taking the clear stem hormone, hormonal acne kind of like supplements, and I've been taking three a night for the past, I want to say week now, and I feel like that's also been helping. And then I just started on these multivitamins in my last vlog that I'm hoping will help as well. So that's kind of where I'm at skin-wise. That's the products that I've been using and trying out that feel like have been doing the best that like any other products that I have tried recently. Um, I feel like I've noticed the most difference from these products, but again, it's still the early stage, so I don't want to like steer you guys in the wrong direction. But that's basically everything. So I'm going to take my makeup off now and hop in the shower and then put on my pajamas. But maybe actually I'll just have a shorter vlog for you guys today and end off the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Love you.